Hey guys, so I wanted to show you guys my room because I will be doing a bedroom makeover for you guys. Basically, I just moved in to my parents' house and this is kind of how my room looks right now. What I did was I cleared out my closet. It was literally a storage space that my parents kept. So there was like blankets, hella clothes, like my prom dresses, like just everything like my mom's wedding dress like i don't even know so i got rid of everything i'm gonna be getting rid of this bed and that headboard i'm gonna be changing the color of the room to like a lighter green this whole space is gonna look a lot more different but i wanted to film for you guys like what i have going on so i am right now doing the borders so that the paint doesn't go on this window area. But after I got the crevices done, it was super easy. I think I'm gonna, I, I'm super excited to show you guys like how it's gonna look. It's gonna be like this lime, not even lime, it's like a light green. I got this at Home Depot. I got this paint at Home Depot as well. I'm gonna be painting my walls like this light green. It's gonna be really pretty. I think it's gonna be pretty. It's like this light green. I don't know if you guys can see it. I've never really painted in my life, guys, so I don't even know how this is gonna go. Okay, but one thing I did not know about painting is like your arms fucking hurt. Esther's helping me paint. This is my sister. Hi. I, I got big titty in the Last time I a lot brighter, like when the sun hits the wall, it bounces light off and it just makes the room a lot brighter. So I wanted it light green. So you see these little marks. So those marks are from nails. I had like a painting here before and so what I did was I filled it in. My dad actually put something on the outside and then I just sanded it down and there's like a couple more. I'm almost done painting my room. My arms are fucking dead. Slowly but surely it is coming together. I'm super excited. We're gonna do the second layer. I think tomorrow or today, I'm not exactly sure. <gasps> Bruh. Okay, for that drip, I'm probably gonna just have to sand it down and then paint over it, but I'm gonna make some coffee right now because I am tired and I look tired. I look fucked out. done doing the second layer of my room all the walls are now double layered i think you just need to do two layers or i just wanted two layers because if i do a third one i just felt like it'll be too bright maybe it was like really hard painting the entire room like honestly like getting all the crevices and like making sure all the paint was even satisfying part but okay the sad part is some of the paint from before is on the ceiling actually so i have to get white and kind of cover it look at this bruh you guys can see i filled in the overlapping like blue paint from before and 
colored it white so that it would have like a clean finishing touch to all the walls but i got rid of all of it and then i also filled in the gaps like in between the borders i got rid of my bed i am currently looking for new furniture okay guys welcome to the final reveal of my bedroom you can already see part of it so i'm kind of sad about that but I wanted to walk you guys through like each part of my room and how I redesigned it. So kind of like right when you walk in, I have this shelf that I set up um, a couple days ago, actually. This was like one of the last pieces that I put on my wall. I know there's like more space that I need to fill, but this is like painting I drew. And then I got this frame, I thrifted it. Um, it was like a dollar. And then this shelf I got from Ikea, and so I just decided to put my books and stuff on here. And I really just wanted to show you guys like how the color of the room really makes all the other colors kind of like come out and pop out at you. So I wanted to talk about this main part of my room. I think this part is really like the part that I worked heavily on. So this mirror I actually got from Facebook Marketplace for $20 and it didn't come yellow, it came actually brown. And I spray painted the mirror, which I will show you guys a clip right now. Hello. So guys, I found this mirror on Facebook Marketplace for $20. It's really big and I'm gonna spray paint this yellow and gonna put it in my room. You guys will see it in my bedroom makeover, but I just wanted to show you guys the process of me literally picking it up. And I kind of got scared in the beginning to pick it up from somebody random, but they were super nice. Don't hit on my fit, but I am gonna spray paint this over there. But I started trying to tape all the corners. Hello, Mr. So guys, this is how the mirror looks so far. I'm gonna do one more coat on it, but it kind of looks gold, but it should look a little bit bright yellow by the time I get the second coat down. And then for this piece, I freaking love this piece. This one I found on Facebook Marketplace as well for $35. And I really like the orange accents inside of the table stand. And I like how it's like a weird shape. And so for this underneath part, I really wanted to include like a huge mirror. So this is what it looks like. Um, I'll also show you a video of me getting that. Also, I picked up this stand that I'm gonna end up putting the mirror like there's like a shorter it's like shorter I'm gonna stack the mirror on top of there I just really liked the color of the stressor so yeah um sorry I'm gonna move this away this is like my melatonin and my perfume oh this perfume by the way is so bomb this is gonna be in my fall favorites but we will get to that later so my sister was like hey why don't we paint like glass bottles and find candlestick holders or like little pieces like these and paint them. I have a video for you guys which I will show now. So in that video, Esther's mi mixing the paint and the baking soda and then we're just painting it on these little different pieces. And I kind of liked my colors, like super bright too. These are the paintings that me and my sister drew. Also kind of drew on the little pot right there. Um, but this frame I also thrifted for a dollar. So it was super cheap and very affordable. And then same thing, a little bit of pop of color. <laughs> this one's a little funny. I also like her little... <laughs> What is that? this wall it's like pretty empty but right now i am 
trying to get like a circle table down here um, or like right here in the middle and then kind of shift the shelf over so I have like a workspace so that's kind of what I'm looking forward to right now I'm still working on this wall and then when you go over here this is my bed um, I don't know if you guys remember but I had a queen bed and this one is actually a twin XL I believe um, me and my sister switch beds because I think my room is just too small to have a queen bed and my bed that I brought down was actually very new. Me and Lana got it together. My sister ended up taking it and it was nice because she had like a platform already. And I liked how it was like a wood finish, but it was a little bit longer than I expected. What I mean by longer than expected is like it comes out a little bit further, but that's really fine. I kind of ha I kind of like how there's like storage space. So I started putting things down there. Um, this is like the whole bed setup. I um, wanted like white sheets and then I also got this little stand from Ikea. I think it was only like $15. And then also the little stuff that we painted together, I put in a candle and then there's some plants that my sister propagates and she gave me some. I have my humidifier and then again my melatonin. So me and my sister's all-time favorite painting is actually this one. It's a little so this is like cow print and we liked like the pink on red look to it and it would look really well on like light green walls that's why we did it and it's literally one of my favorites this is like my try hard wanting to be Van Gogh type B. and this one Esther drew for me as a gift thank you Esther um, and I framed it because I wanted like the black print to have some frame around it I thought that would give like a pop of you know dark colors that we need actually on this wall and then here's my planter that you guys remember and this is just a wall that i kind of need to start working on i'm still definitely adding to this room but i wanted to show you guys oh and also this rug um is a rug i got from west elm it was on sale but i really wanted a pop of cream and like black on the floor because of my carpet i love this rug so much and i got that for 70 so literally all this this entire room barely cost me anything so you guys finally made it to the end of my bedroom makeover my huge bedroom transformation because literally i changed the color everything looks totally different and i love it like look at the background looks amazing i really like it but i wanted to share this experience with you guys because literally the items that i put in this room i bought pieces of and put together so like the canvases i got at michael's you can buy them in packs of five the paint i literally painted all of these with my sister so it was very affordable in that way because painting and wall art they're just really expensive literally guys it's crafting season because everyone's inside and they're quarantining or like not going out as much so it's really crafting season and if you guys want to craft at home you guys should definitely re like redecorate your room and try like a bedroom transformation but i'm hoping that like good stuff will come out of this room and like good more awesome videos for you guys so i definitely hope you guys enjoyed my bedroom transformation journey but don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button thank you so much for watching super happy about the outcome so this is like my final room you guys are not taking the last look looks like this but thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and then until the next video stay safe and i'll see you guys later